Today's Pioneer Profile is Mandy Serkla of the softball team. And Mandy, you're approaching your final year here at UWP. Can you believe it's been four years? You know, it's unbelievable. The fourth year is finally here, and I'm really ready to show everybody that we're here to play, and it's unbelievable how fast it went. And the Pioneers open on February 13th, which is really hard to believe that you're playing softball at that time. You're playing in uh, Elmhurst College uh, in the uh, new uh, dome over in Middleton. How excited are you to play over there? It's really exciting because it's close to one my hometown, and then just to be playing this early in the season really gives us a good look at what we continue to need to work on. And inside is always a different story than out on the dirt, so it's pretty exciting just to be able to play this early. The last year you played in the uh, Uni Dome over in uh, Northern Iowa. Is it different playing a game inside? Yeah, it definitely is. You know, with the lights and especially the ground. The ground makes a huge difference and with the bases, the bases are set different, the pitching mounds set different, but I think our team has adjusted really well and we're ready to try it out and see how things go. Mm -hmm. And as a catcher, I notice when you're practicing, you have a lot of different pitchers out there that you that are throwing to you. All of them are very young. Do you feel yourself taking a leadership role with all the pitchers? I think all of our catchers have really um, stepped up to the plate and been really good leaders, especially with our young pitching staff. We, you know, need to let them know what's wrong, what they need to do to get better, and you know, congratulate them when they're doing well. And I think all the catchers have done a really good job this season so far. Mm -hmm. And as a hitter, you have one of the most uncanny abilities to always make contact. You fall off more pitches till you get your right one to hit. Is that something you work on, or is that just something that happens with you? Or You know, I guess I try and practice good mechanics, and it's a battle up there, and I guess whoever is better wins it usually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Speaking of wins, I think the uh, Pioneers would like to see a little more this year. What do you guys see yourself finishing this year in the conference? Not really sure on the place, but I think we're going to come out um, in better than we did last year. We have very strong pitching uh, staff, and I think our batting can back it up this year. So I think we're going to fare all right and hopefully make conference. Okay. And now switching gears a little bit, you had a really interesting package delivered to you this week. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, I had 42 mice delivered for my independent research project. And I never knew how hard it was going to be to get 42 mice out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing with these mice? I'm looking at the effects of light intensity on depth perception. And so it's about a five-week process that I'm going to be doing. And how do the mice fit into this then? Um, well, 21 of them are going to be raised in a 24-hour dark cycle. And 21 are raised in a 24-hour light cycle. So hopefully their depth perception will be different when I go to check it at the end. How would you get involved in something like this? Um, well, being a senior in the biology major, I had a choice of either doing a senior thesis or another optional class, and I chose to do a research option, and I received a PERF grant, and so here I am doing my research project. <laughs> and then what would you like to do upon graduation? Um, hopefully go on to some sort of graduate school. Um, I'm looking into the biohealth field, so something working with people. Okay, and not mice. No, definitely not <laughs> mice. All right, well, thank you, Mandy, and good luck this season. All right, thank you very much.